Hi, welcome back. So, I saw, as I said, I saw this short that weekend. Mm -hmm. And when I saw this character sitting on the park bench with a gun, okay. I thought, oh my goodness, where, you know, where is this going to go? So, let me ask you first, Farouk, how did you respond to this? Uh, initially, yes, I had a similar uh, feeling. I'm like, I was confused. What is he? Is he going to kill himself? Is he going to hurt somebody else? That was my curiosity. But as soon as that lady sits down and uh, jokes apart, women talk a lot, men sulk. <laughs> it's just my personal experience. I'm talking only for myself, not all men. <laughs> no, I think you can pretty well generalize that. <laughs> but uh, I love the... I actually watched it twice because I loved it so much. First time I finished it, I laughed, and second time, I felt it. I'm like, uh, it has it touched me at a deeper level, because there are times where, and the men, you can see the pain on him, and he with the way he was writing. But I personally think that's why men need women, women need men, is when we have pain. We have, uh, as a man, I'm talking only from my experience and my personal feeling that we have difficulty expressing things. He is trying to write, and, but all he need is somebody to touch him from the bottom of his heart. And that's what that lady did. She started from all over the place. And I loved her chirpiness, I loved her. And then later on, I was a little shocked when she said that she have a cancer. And then at that particular time, she was not directly saying that she needs somebody around her. But men, and these are the opportunities come in our life. The things that we missed out, life have a way of, not in particular the same way we want it, in a different way. And that was beautifully done at the end when the man realizes, I need to be there. Because I was not there for my own family, this is an opportunity universe is giving it to me to be there for somebody. Let me take them. And how many times we suppress ourselves, we don't go move forward and say that hi or hello or smile. But that was beautiful, I loved it. Wow, that's, that's really well, well said. And, and I certainly, most of the feelings that I had about the film as well, mm -hmm. that it was very much about connecting. Uh, these next few months, uh, particularly here in the circle, we're gonna be very much focusing on our connection to each other and to our planet uh, and to our society and to our future as we come up upon December of this year, which we'll talk about more in a little bit. But I also had that sense mm -hmm. that um, she did save his life. Mm -hmm. She saved him from doing something. And it's just fascinating how we can do that with each other if we just connect with each other. And it's so easy in this day of technology of um, and I know I sound like a broken record, but I really mean this with all of the texting and the tweeting and this and that. The human connection is just so important. And there was something um, really powerful and beautiful about her character and her bravery and something that, that if we have family, mm -hmm. we don't think as much about, I which is, and I know that there are some of you out there who are members of our community who are alone as well. Mm -hmm and who face the challenges of life alone. And uh, who have, when you have an illness issue, face it alone. And I thought, my goodness, this woman is going through cancer treatment and she's really alone in the okay. world. And it did give him a reason to make, oh my goodness, I can be here for her. Okay. And I just thought that was beautiful. And particularly after those horrible, that horrible shooting at, um, in Aurora, that, that terrible massacre, mm -hmm. uh, it, it is difficult to say, well, what would have happened if somebody had been able to touch that young man and connect with that young man in a different way? It may mm -hmm. not have been possible okay. to do that. I'm not going to get into the details of that, but there's something really beautiful and powerful, I think, about this movie in what it says to us about connecting. Correct. I agree with you. You know, it's a really, and thank you. So thank you for your feelings about that. Anything else that you wanted to say about this? Because I have to say, I think that your take on this was really beautiful. One thing that I really loved was when she asked the name and he says, Sue. <laughs> that was quite funny. Yeah, and she, when she said to him, uh, well, if you don't have a dream, go get one. Exactly. You know, and that's <laughs> wonderful. I mean, that, that is really a beautiful, beautiful thing to say to somebody else. Well, you, we always have to have dreams. We always have to have hopes. And they rekindled that in each other. And I think that's a really powerful way for us to start mm -hmm. what is a very powerful volume of shorts. So thank you, Farouk. Thank you. And we will see you after the next film.